Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Bill. So, during my presentation this morning, I want to talk about education, leadership, and membership activities. The work of the ITAC and ongoing improvements, what you need to know about the upcoming Board of Directors meeting, and the status of the P4P. For P. However, I want to do something different. I want to broaden my presentation to consider what we've accomplished in the last two years as it relates to our strategic plan. As always, let's start with our membership numbers. As of September 2018, our union represents 61,111 pilots at 34 airlines. Compare this to September 2016, when we represented 54,537 pilots at 31 carriers. Clearly, we're moving in the right direction. We welcome pilots from Air Georgian, Kalita Air, WestJet, and WestJet Encore into our ranks. And we continue to pursue other pilot groups. In addition, we continue to offer services like the application and interview workshops for those who want to upgrade to mainline carriers. ELPA's education, leadership, and membership committees continue to be extremely active, and it's my privilege to support them. Education volunteers promote the piloting profession by expanding their outreach to schools, colleges, and universities, and throughout the industry. These members inspire, educate, and mentor the next generation of pilots. And during the last two years, we've increased our ACE Club participation with programs at Central Washington University and Arizona State University signed an MOU with Indiana State University, updated the Clear to Dream website, and worked with ELPA's Fee for Departure Committee to publish airline pilot careers, and established a working relationship with the American School Counselors Association. Education volunteers support these activities to promote ELPA's goal of securing the future of the profession. Membership committee volunteers work to strengthen and advance our profession. Both education and membership volunteers attend conferences and events like Women in Aviation International, the Organization of Black Aerospace Professionals, the National Gay Pilots Association, EAA Air Venture, and the NIFA SafeCon. As a matter of fact, I was at Oshkosh this summer and I saw the difference our volunteers make. Membership has established a women's working group to look at opportunities and challenges facing female pilots in the airline industry. Membership's furlough pilot support program is developing reference documents to help members facing furloughs. Veterans Affairs held its first ever seminar in April to review the laws protecting military members. The Leadership Committee conducts leadership training conferences each year. These functions help recently elected reps better understand their roles as union leaders. Last month, 18 new leaders representing 12 pilot groups were in Herndon to learn about ELPA. The committee provided this additional conference to help them prepare for the upcoming BOD. There are computer-based training modules for pilots elected outside regular election cycles. Now, before I leave this section, I want to say thank you to Education Committee Chair Mark Haley, Membership Committee Chair Candy Burnsketter, and Leadership Committee Chair David Farmer, and all their volunteers for the remarkable work that they do. I appreciate the amount of time they volunteer and their professionalism. ITAC assists the union by providing innovative and effective communication methods. They work hard to streamline our logistics and operations. To accomplish these objectives, ELPA launched Project AMBER to modernize our business systems 
and improve the efficiency of our operations. In the last two years, we've expanded our member database capabilities, created an online membership application, implemented numerous call center improvements, and moved the computer servers to a remote location. Membership reports are now handled by a business software, Tableau. This program gives us great, greater capabilities and better flexibility. In addition, the upcoming Board of Directors meeting will be pipe paperless. All documents and materials will be available online, making this meeting more efficient. Since 2016, we've updated many ELPA websites. We've also hired a firm to conduct an audit of the way we build and maintain these communication tools. The revised ELPA app has many new features. The team is getting ready to deliver it to the App Store and make it available soon, very soon. <clears throat> I want to thank Todd Bull, Dan Gradwall, Todd Insler, Gary McCracken, and Roger Phillips for their input and leadership in helping to make this happen. The 47th meeting of the ELPA Board of Directors is October 15th to the 18th. The meeting will be held at the Washington Hilton. Please keep in mind these upcoming deadlines. The advance agenda, along with delegate committee assignments, will be mailed on September 14th. September 28th is the last day to send a meeting notice to fill vacancies. Late agenda items received by October 1st will be mailed to the delegates. MEC meetings will be taking place the week before the BOD. On-site registration runs from October 12th through the morning of October 15th. And remember that national officer and EVP elections will be held Wednesday, October 17th. This year's BOD app will include maps of the hotel, agenda items, summaries of reports, and board actions. Please make sure your requests for non-delegate attendance are submitted as soon as possible. Also make sure you come prepared. Each of us has a responsibility to conduct the work of our union. Switching gears, Pilots for Pilots helps members and their families through the devastating effects of widespread disasters. The current P for P balance is $134,952.84. While that sounds like a lot of money, keep this in mind. Since 2016, ELPA has issued $459,231.05 in assistance. Last year was challenging with three hurricanes plus wildfires and flooding. Right now, Hurricane Florence is approaching the East Coast. In the Pacific, Olivia is headed for Hawaii. Please contribute to this important fund and encourage your members to do the same. Remind your pilots that P4P is available if they need it. I want to thank Ken Reinhardt, Bill Licht, and Nathan Hillard, who manage the fund and are ready to help fellow ELPA members. I've talked about the PDG, ITAC, P4P, and the BOD. And again, I want to thank the pilots who offer their time and talents to do the work of our union. I also want to thank ELPA staff who support these many functions. You are the heroes who make everything we do possible. In the last two years, we've accomplished great things together. We've grown and expanded the union with improved products and services. We continue to promote the piloting profession and secure its future, but our work is not finished. We must continue the strategic planning process to determine where we go for the next two years 
and beyond. I look forward to seeing you at the BOD. Thank you, and go Vikings! <laughs>